Have you ever woken up with your blood sugar out of control, even though you thought you had a proper dinner? What if the real problem isn't what you eat during the day, but at night? Many older diabetics make a silent mistake with their last meal and pay the price the next morning. What you choose to eat before bed can determine whether your glucose levels spike or stay under control. The good news is, there are specific foods that help your body stay balanced while you sleep. And today you'll discover the top five most recommended ones. But before I reveal these powerful foods, tell me something. Where are you watching this video from? Drop your city in the comments. I'd love to know how far this message is reaching. Most people think of yogurt as a breakfast food, but did you know that certain types of yogurt can work wonders for your blood sugar while you sleep? Greek yogurt, especially the unsweetened kind, is packed with protein and probiotics that help balance glucose levels overnight. It slows digestion just enough to prevent blood sugar spikes, giving your body a steady source of energy during rest. According to a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, consuming high-protein snacks like Greek yogurt before bed can reduce morning glucose levels in people with type 2 diabetes. Surprising, right? It's not just about the protein. Greek yogurt contains calcium and magnesium, two minerals that support insulin sensitivity. When your body responds better to insulin, your glucose stays in check even while you're asleep. That means you wake up with more stable energy, less brain fog, and fewer cravings. Just be sure to avoid flavored yogurts, as those often come loaded with hidden sugars. Stick to plain, low-fat or full-fat versions, depending on your dietary needs. By the way, if you're enjoying this kind of practical science-backed tip, it would mean a lot if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're already part of the community, thank you for being here. It's people like you that make this journey so meaningful. Our goal is to support each other in staying healthy, informed, and motivated. And trust me, what you'll learn next might completely change how you eat at night. Greek yogurt also helps with gut health, which is closely tied to glucose control. Your gut microbiome affects how your body processes carbs, fats, and even how your immune system behaves. When the gut is out of balance, it can lead to chronic inflammation and insulin resistance, but probiotics in yogurt help restore that balance, something especially helpful for seniors with diabetes. Have you ever paid attention to how your gut feels after different late night snacks? Thanks for being here with me. Now I have a little challenge for you. Comment the word steady below if you want your blood sugar to stay balanced every morning. And if you have a question about what you're eating at night, or need help with anything else, leave a message. We read everything, and this is a safe space where people support each other. Ready for the next surprising food? Let's go deeper. Walnuts are not just for brain health. They're also a powerful ally for diabetics at night. Packed with healthy fats, protein, and fiber, just a small handful can slow digestion and keep glucose from rising too quickly during the night. What makes walnuts unique is their high content of alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, a plant-based omega-3 that helps reduce inflammation and improve insulin sensitivity. A 2018 study from Diabetes, Obesity and Metabolism found that regular walnut consumption was linked to better fasting blood glucose levels in adults over 60. Unlike sugary desserts or refined carbs that cause spikes and crashes, walnuts create a slow, steady release of energy. This helps your liver avoid dumping glucose into your bloodstream while you sleep a process that often causes high morning readings. If you've ever had a normal dinner, but woke up with your sugar high, your liver might be the real culprit. Eating walnuts before bed helps regulate that nighttime glucose dump by calming the liver and giving your body a better signal to rest. Their magnesium content also supports over 300 enzymatic processes in your body, including those related to glucose metabolism. Many seniors with diabetes are unknowingly deficient in magnesium, which worsens insulin resistance. So when you eat something as simple as a few walnuts, you're not just snacking, you're sending your body powerful nutrients that help it do its job overnight. Isn't it amazing how a small habit can bring such big benefits? Let me take a quick second to thank you for watching with such focus. This journey is even better when it's shared. And I'm curious, what do you usually eat after dinner? Comment below, and let's learn from each other. And if you're up for it, drop the phrase night power in the comments to show that you're serious about leveling up your nighttime habits. You'd be surprised how many people read and respond here. We're in this together. Walnuts can also help reduce cravings the next morning. By providing healthy fat and fiber at night, your hunger hormones, like ghrelin, stay more balanced by sunrise. That means fewer urges for bread, sweets, or high-carb breakfasts. If mornings are your weakness, it might be time to fix your nights first. 
Simple, right? But most people overlook it. Ready to learn what food number three can do while you sleep. You might think eggs are just for breakfast, but eating a boiled egg before bed can make a huge difference in your fasting glucose levels. Why? Because eggs are rich in high-quality protein and fat, with virtually no carbohydrates. This combination helps stabilize your blood sugar throughout the night by slowing gastric emptying and reducing the chance of a glucose dump from the liver. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition showed that adding eggs to the diet improved insulin sensitivity in adults with type 2 diabetes. The satiety effect of eggs is also powerful. Many diabetics over 60 struggle with hunger late at night, especially after dinner. Instead of reaching for cookies or crackers, a simple boiled egg can satisfy you without spiking your glucose. It's a low-calorie, high-nutrient option that keeps your metabolism calm and steady during the most vulnerable hours. And when your body sleeps without stress, it wakes up in balance. Have you ever tested your glucose after having protein at night instead of carbs? Another benefit is choline, a nutrient in eggs that supports liver function and brain health. A well-functioning liver is essential for glucose regulation, especially overnight. If your liver is overactive or fatty, it may release too much glucose during sleep, causing morning spikes. But nutrients like choline and vitamin B12 in eggs help support better liver signaling. This small habit can make a noticeable difference by the end of the week. Thank you for sticking with me so far. It really means a lot. Let's make this moment interactive. What's your favorite way to eat eggs? Hard-boiled, soft-boiled, deviled? Leave a comment and share with the community. And if you're serious about stabilizing your blood sugar overnight, write protein first below. We're building a support space here, and you're always welcome to ask for help or tips. If you've never tried having just one egg before bed, Give it a shot for three nights and watch your morning readings. You might be surprised at how quickly your numbers respond. Sometimes, it's not about adding a supplement or medication. It's about getting back to smart, simple choices. And the next food is one that brings both sweetness and stability in one bite. Did you know that many dishes that seem healthy for diabetics can actually be dangerous? Discover the recipes that really work. Stop feeling limited or insecure in the kitchen. My book brings together delicious and easy recipes specially created to keep your blood sugar under control and add more flavor to your life. I've already helped thousands of diabetics eat better, feel happier, and achieve a lighter life with my book. Every recipe has been tested and approved by those who understand the needs of people living with diabetes. Click the link in the first comment of this video now and get immediate access to the book that will transform your meals today. It might sound too simple, but one small apple with a sprinkle of cinnamon can work like magic when it comes to nighttime blood sugar control. Apples are rich in fiber, especially pectin, which slows the absorption of sugar and helps prevent glucose spikes. When paired with cinnamon, a spice known to improve insulin sensitivity, this combination becomes a powerful pre-bedtime snack. According to a study from the Journal of the American College of Nutrition, Cinnamon has been shown to lower fasting blood sugar by up to 10% in people with type 2 diabetes. Choosing the right apple matters too. Go for smaller, low glycemic varieties like Granny Smith or Gala, which have less sugar and more fiber per bite. The fiber helps delay digestion and signals the brain that you're satisfied, reducing late-night cravings. Plus, apples contain natural antioxidants like quercetin, which reduce inflammation and support cardiovascular health, something every diabetic over 60 should be thinking about daily. Isn't it interesting how a fruit so common can have such therapeutic power? Now let's talk cinnamon. Just half a teaspoon can activate enzymes that mimic the effects of insulin in the body. That means glucose is more likely to enter your cells instead of staying in your bloodstream overnight. Some people even call cinnamon nature's blood sugar regulator. So why not turn dessert into medicine? One apple, a dash of cinnamon, and you're giving your body something sweet and smart. Do you already use cinnamon at night? Thanks for staying here with me. It really makes this conversation feel real. Let's interact a little more. Comment the phrase, smart snacking, if you're ready to ditch those sugary desserts for something that actually helps your body. And if you need ideas for other healthy combos, feel free to ask below. This community is all about real support, and your question might help someone else too. What you eat at night sets the tone for your next day. Choosing something light but nutrient-dense like apple and cinnamon helps your body do its job while you rest. It's a habit rooted in balance, not restriction. And up next, we'll talk about a drink you can sip before sleep that not only hydrates but also gently lowers blood sugar levels while you dream. Ready? Chamomile tea isn't just for relaxation. 
It can also help regulate blood sugar while you sleep. This gentle herbal tea contains antioxidants like apigenin, which reduce oxidative stress and improve insulin sensitivity. In a 2015 study published in Nutrition, participants who drank chamomile tea three times a day after meals had significantly lower HbA1c levels compared to those who didn't. That means this calming tea doesn't just soothe your mind, it actively supports your body's glucose balance. One of the key reasons chamomile is effective is its impact on cortisol, the stress hormone. High cortisol levels are known to increase blood sugar, especially overnight. For many diabetics, stress is an invisible trigger that throws everything off, especially sleep. But chamomile's calming compounds help signal the brain to release melatonin naturally, allowing the body to relax and reset. Less stress, better rest, lower sugar. Could your evening drink be sabotaging your sleep without you knowing? Chamomile also has mild anti-inflammatory effects that benefit your digestive system, which plays a bigger role in blood sugar than most people realize. When your digestion slows too much at night, it can lead to glucose fluctuations, but chamomile supports smooth digestion and prevents those uncomfortable spikes or dips. Plus, it's caffeine-free, unlike black or green tea, which makes it a safe and gentle choice right before bed. Have you ever tried replacing late-night snacks with a warm herbal tea? Thank you for being here this far. It shows you're committed to real change. Let's make this fun. If you're going to try chamomile tonight, comment tea power below, and don't be shy to ask for help in the comments. Whether it's about tea, food, or anything else you're struggling with, this is a place of support. Many people here are going through the same things you are, and we grow stronger together. Sometimes the smallest rituals make the biggest difference. A cup of tea, a moment of stillness, and the right ingredients can set the stage for a better morning. And in the final topic, I'm going to share one more food that many diabetics avoid, but when used correctly, it can actually help balance blood sugar during the night. You might be shocked when you find out what it is. Yes, you read that right. Dark chocolate can actually support your blood sugar if you choose the right kind and eat it the right way. Most people assume chocolate is off limits for diabetics, but high quality dark chocolate, at least 85% cacao, has a low glycemic index and is packed with polyphenols that improve insulin sensitivity. A study published in Appetite Journal found that dark chocolate helps reduce oxidative stress and lowers fasting blood glucose when consumed in moderation. It's all about what kind of chocolate and how much. The secret lies in flavonoids. These powerful plant compounds help your body process glucose more efficiently and protect against insulin resistance. One or two small squares of dark chocolate before bed can signal to your brain that you're satisfied, reducing the temptation for late night snacking. Plus, the healthy fats in cacao help slow digestion, preventing sudden sugar releases while you sleep. Who knew dessert could actually help you wake up with better numbers? Still, it's important to avoid milk chocolate or anything with added sugar, caramel or cream. Those will do the opposite of what we want. Look for chocolates with few ingredients, cacao, cocoa butter, and maybe a natural sweetener like stevia or erythritol. The simpler, the better. And remember, this isn't a license to binge. One small piece is enough to signal satisfaction, calm the body, and encourage better metabolic rhythm overnight. Have you ever tried dark chocolate as a nighttime ritual? Thanks for staying with me until the end of this journey. If you're surprised by this last tip, comment the word yes chocolate below to let me know. And if you're unsure which brand or percentage to buy, ask in the comments. I'll personally help you choose. We've built a safe space here where your voice matters and no question is too small. This is your community and we support each other with honesty and love. So next time you think about reaching for cookies or chips late at night, remember this. The right nighttime habit can completely transform your mornings. You don't need more medication. You need better choices. Start with one of the six tips from today and observe the difference. Your body is ready for balance. You just need to give it the chance. Before you go, there's something important I don't want you to miss. I'm leaving a video right here on the screen that reveals specific eating strategies for diabetics that most people have never heard about. It dives into food combinations that can either sabotage or support your blood sugar, even if you think you're eating healthy. If you've ever felt confused about what really works at mealtime, this video could be the missing piece you've been looking for. Don't skip it. Honestly, if you care about managing diabetes naturally and avoiding future complications, 
This next video is essential. It's packed with practical tips and surprising insights you won't hear in most places. Click on it now and see for yourself how just a few adjustments can lead to a dramatic improvement in your health and energy. See you there.